over the past year, pets have gotten used to us being around all day. But with businesses and workplaces reopening, it may be the first time they're left on their own. So here to help your dog or cat, Dr. Brett Levitsky, Chief Medical Officer at Veterinary Emergency Referral Group in Brooklyn, New York. Dr. Levitsky, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me and tackling this important uh, topic. It is mm-hmm. so important. And, you know, I, I can't help but think when I'm home all day with my dog, she just seems bored half the time. But the second I leave, you just hear her whining and kind of pawing at the door. So, I mean, obviously she suffers from some sort of separation anxiety. So what are some signs to know that our dogs are suffering? So that's a great point because it can be a continuum of signs. Something simple, just like scratching at the door or whining, um, but that goes away all the way up to uncharacteristic, destructive behaviors. You come back from work um, or being out of the apartment um, and there's food and couches chewed up or if they uh, urinate or defecate in the house when they're otherwise normally um, well-trained. Doctor, what what about people who had pets before the pandemic? I mean, should they be on the lookout signs of separation anxiety in their pets as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. So a normally well-adjusted dog that pre-pandemic would would not mind uh, you going to work. Remember, their world is you, so Mm -hmm. you've been at home for the past year plus. So now, when you leave, it causes anxiety. Breaks your heart. So why don't we, let's talk about some tips maybe for anybody watching this morning, an owner who's trying to look ahead before they have any issues or if they have to return to work. What should they be doing now? The, the one thing you can do is start looking for early warning signs. If your dog is the type of dog that follows you from room to room to room when you're home, they may be more prone to showing signs of separation anxiety when you leave. So what do you um, do? If you pick up your keys and you notice them panting, uh, pacing, starting to shake, that's the, the early sign. So put your keys back down. Start early and often in training them to get used to you being gone. Just like you wouldn't go run a marathon without any training, we can't expect our pets to to do well at home alone without us. So taking these short intervals of stepping out and then coming back and letting them know that you will return to them. Hmm. So is training key? Should you ever get the vet involved? I mean, could it be that bad? Well, I think anytime there's a change in behavior with your pet, you should consult uh, with your veterinarian just because they can be signs of an underlying medical problem. Mm -hmm. But they can recommend some over-the-counter supplements or even in severe, severe um, uh, cases, they can recommend some anxiolytics, which are anxiety-reducing medications. All right. Well, Dr. Levitsky, thank you so much for those great tips. I know I've actually put a little vest on Bosco before. It's like it's called like the thunder coat or something Mm -hmm. that just kind of keeps her secure, Mm -hmm. like a little snuggie. Mm -hmm. Um, So for more information on how you can help your pet adjust to your return to work, head to today.com. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.